Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislawati. I'm an excellent Power enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I will show you how to use Switch, which will make your Power BI report simpler, less cluttered by minimizing the number of visuals and yet allowing the users to select and display the measures that are relevant to them. Let me show you. This is an example of a Power BI report with many charts, each chart showing one measure, booking percentage, missed percentage, completed and incomplete. As you can see, the page can be a little bit cluttered in here as we are running out of space, especially if there are more measures being added and people want to see that being displayed in our report. So what's the alternative? The alternative is to show something like this. Make the chart bigger, have an ability to select the measure using drop down box and watch how the charts change as the measures get selected. Isn't that awesome? And that's what I want to show you how to do in this video. Here are the five steps required to build an interactive report and chart with measure selection using drop down box. Let's go through them one by one, starting from step one, creating an independent table to list out all of our measures. Let's get started from scratch. As you can see, we don't have our charts and slicer yet, but let's start by creating an independent table. Click enter data and type in our measures in here. So we have booking percentage, completed percentage, missed percentage, and incomplete percentage. And then after that, name the table independent table and then I'm going to hit load and done as you can see independent table now pop out in here click that and just bring out that there now I'm going to rename this column one and call it measures because they are really our measures that we want to select Make sure that the independent table are completely independent, i.e. there is no relationship between the independent table and the data. If for some reason Power BI creates an automatic relationship, just highlight, click and delete the relationship. Now, let's use that to create a slicer. So click slicer. Now it has become a slicer and I'm going to turn it into a drop down list. All right. Now, one more thing that I'm going to do, which is I'm going to modify my slicer settings so that only one item can be selected at a time. So I'm going to turn on single select. This way, people won't be able to select more than one. All right, awesome. The next step is to create a measure to identify the selected item using the switch function. Let's create our new measure, something that I call selected item. Now I have pre-typed them to save time, but what the formula is actually doing is saying, if we select bookings in here, so it's saying selected value independent table measure is equal to booking, then call the booking percentage. Booking percentage is a measure that I have already pre-created previously. So we had booking percentage over here, completed, incomplete, and missed. All these measures are being called by this switch formula. Once you're done, just click the tick. And then that's done. As you can see, selected item is now there. Now what we can do is we can create a table and then put our chart selected item in the Y axis and then put date in the x-axis. So we've got our date. And then let's put the year in the legend. Now that's looking good. Now let's test that. Is that changing? Oh, now it's working. Isn't that awesome? Now, a couple of things that we need to do 
we need to change that title so that it shows what was previously selected in the measure. So that will be our next step, creating a dynamic title. Let's create another new measure. I'm going to call it dynamic title. And with this, we are saying if the selected value is equal to blank, then nothing. If not blank, then we are going to call the previous selected value and append this text year on year comparison of selected measure. So I'm just going to hit OK and I will show you how it looked like when we put this dynamic title in our chart. So go to the chart and then go to general title and hit conditional formatting and for the field value link it to the newly created dynamic title, which is that one. Now you can see that when we select bookings or completed, that's now dynamically changing. Awesome. And if nothing is selected, which at the moment it's not an option there, it will show nothing. So we are done and if we want to tidy up the chart, we can. So what you can do is you can remove maybe the x-axis title so that the month doesn't have to be there. Same with the y-axis. You can turn off the title so that it doesn't have to be there. And you can also add data label by turning it on. Now that looks better. If you want to see them in percentages, you can. Click the selected item, change the format to percentages, and then maybe remove the decimal places so that it becomes neater. And you don't really need to show that as well if you already have the label. So what you can do is you can go back to Y axis and turn it off so that it becomes cleaner. And we're done. So do you guys, we have finished recreating our measure drop down box that can drive the charts on the right. Congratulations, you have now reached the end of this video tutorial. I hope you have learned something useful and will be able to enhance your Power BI report by incorporating switch function to allow user to select and display the measures that are relevant to them in a single visual. See you next time.